Hello there, this is Carlo and welcome to another quick, simple tutorial. Today we're going to be creating the Star Wars opening sequence credits as seen here. Um, it's so easy, it's unbelievable, so let's get cracking. So first of all, you're going to need Star Background. You can download this off of Google, um, anywhere from Google. Um, it's just to give us our, um, our Starfield backdrop. And you're going to also need the uh, Star Wars font, which I'll add a link in the description below so you can download it for yourself. And we're just going to create a default still role. So there's no After Effects needed with this, so it's uh, really, really cool. So once you've done that, um, we're going to click to add our credit. And up here, we're going to type in Star Wars. Once you've installed it, you should get it. Okay, so we've got Star Wars there. And I'm just going to put my caps on and I'm going to take, type Star, and then Space, Space, and then Wars. Right, so we're just going to highlight that both together and up here we've got our font size so we can punch the font size right up we're going to make it so it's centered so it's dead centered and also what we're going to do is we're going to create this and we're going to make this a jet black yeah so the actual text is jet black and then what we're going to do we're going to add a um, outer line so if we come down here to shadow Click on shadow, we're going to make that a yellow, try to make it a yellow, right here, make that nice bright punch of yellow, and as you can see we've got a nice little shadow there, but then we're going to make a uh, colour fill, so we're going to change um, the solid to the uh, actual bevel. And then we're going to click on here, we're going to make that yellow as well. Click OK. And then change that back to a black. Like so. So let's just put that into position for now, because we've not finished it yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to punch up the size, front size, just a little bit more. So it sort of fills part of the screen. And now we've got our outer line straight, so we're going to add an outer line. We click here, so we've got edge, so it's edge. And I'm going to change this and put this to a yellow. Right, so, right, so bang. So remember, we've got our, our outer line. So we've got the sort of general gist of the actual Star Wars logo. Um, uh, in the background so we're going to animate that in a minute um, and this is all done within um, Premiere Pro you can do this on After Effects if you want but it's sort of about getting it as close to sort of the original um, as you can obviously give it a little bit so it's not as bright because it gives it that sort of cinematic look as well okay right so once we've done that uh, we're going to okay that come out and then we should automatically have our sort of Star Wars um, sort of logo. But we can play around to make that a bit, bit perfect um, in the end. So we're going to sort of click and apply a transition to that so basically it just appears like so. And let's just bring this forward and just play around with how it does. Right, so let's put this to full. Let's go back into our Star Wars credits and let's just play around with how it's sort of centered like so and now we're going to come out of there and just leave it like right that. Now we're going to create a new uh, title click OK and we're going to um, with the same sort of font obviously um, once we put our thing here we're going to change that to Star Wars as well right here we're going to type in the, oh, we need our caps on, the Force Awakens, I'm going to get the Force Awakens and I'm just going to centre that up, once we've got our Force Awakens sort of logo in then we can um, play around with the Star Wars again. And then we're going to bring this to about here because it comes just after. Let's 
so. So let's go and add a vehicle transition. Pat that and we go to add all sorts of bottles. Now let's go back into our text, right? And we're just gonna sort of bring this sort of so we can see what's going on here. And I'm just gonna sort of scrunch this up just a bit. Keep an eye on here because you can see exactly what's going on here. And if we try and have a look at our picture again, let's have a look. Let's my desktop and just have a look at my reference picture. Go open with Windows, that's where you are. Um, as you can see, the S is basically just where the um, H is, so we need to sort of make it like that, right? So let's. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back here. Let's bring this sort of down to about here, and let's just stretch the Star Wars. click OK and adjust that date um, anyway so that's cool. What I want to do is I want to open up my Force Awakens and I want to make the height. So, do you want to do that? Right so that's fine. Let's go and do some animation work. Right so um, I want this sort of uh, faded in as well and I want this if you sort of play around with this bit here we can sort of do some animation with that. Right, so let's come out of there. We've got our full awakening thing here. I'm going to go to my Star Wars, come up to my flex control. And what I want to do is try and add some sort of um, like sliding effects to this, okay? So I'm going to go to video effects. And I'm going to add. Right, let's just leave that for now. Let me just click on that. Right. So um, I had an idea, but I'm not going to do that like that. So this is going to be a lot more easier. Right. So um, this is the false awakening bit. So I'm going to start with sort of opening up my motion uh, here, and then I'm going to bring the scale back. To about there, I'm going to hit my stopwatch. I'm going to bring it to about there, and then I'm going to put that back to 100. Right, so so now we'll have a little um, sort of zooming, zooming in. Right, so if you play it back, it'll be like that. You can play around with the keyframes as you do it as well. Keyframes in, bring this keyframe over just to make it a bit more quicker. Right, so now we need to fix our Star Wars and bring that closer together. Just bring it so we can see. Right, that's cool. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to go back to my Force Awakens. I'm just going to scale this up. Let's do the H. Right, so, right. That's not too bad. Right, so let's play it back. Remember, we're, we're doing this all in um, Premiere Pro. So it's about sort of fiddling in with it as well. Click on our Star Wars, click on Motion. 
going to bring my scale down to about 80%. Hit the stopwatch. Actually, I want this. If you bring this, I want to bring this right back here to the start, then I'm going to go to the end. And I'm going to put this to 100%. You can also animate the size of the text as well if you want. So you're not going to only animate the position, you can animate the actual scale of it as well. And you can actually use the opacity to fade in and out. So if you want to do sort of like a fade control, um, you can fade it in and out as well. So that's pretty, pretty cool. So I can sort of select this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my opacity and I'm going to change the blending mode to uh, screen just to give it that sort of blending mode I'm going to select this one and I'm going to put that to screen as well uh, just so we can get a nice little sort of effect in there uh, sort of blend to it. and that's about sort of tweaking it up at the end of the day so that don't look too bad um, whatsoever so that's sort of like my rendition of the sort of Star Wars um, opening sequence as well so I hope you've enjoyed this quick very very simple uh, tutorial uh, thanks for listening do remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one ciao ciao